All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. One for the money, two for the show, three for each and every one of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. This video is a jump shot video, man, inspired by Kentavious Caldwell Pope. I saw him on my Lakers team, and I was like, bro, Dude is busting, and I like I like how he's pulling up, man. I was like, I really like how he's pulling up, so I want to mimic his jump shot in some regard to some degree and all of that. And you see, I'm able to hit from places y'all know I do not shoot from these places, man. I don't, I do not shoot from here. And I'm able to hit, I'm able to hit. One thing I will tell y'all, man, a lot of people don't know about, if you're not a great shooter, one thing you can do Put your vibration on on your controller and it will help you find the right timing. You're not gonna hit the shot because of the vibration or miss because of the vibration, but the vibration will help you find the timing. So if you hear it, vib if you feel it vibrate after you shot, you know that that's an early. If you, if you feel it vibrate, you know, before you shoot, before you shoot, I mean, if, you, if it vibrates before you shoot, it's a late. If it vibrates after you shot, you know, you know that it's early. So like, if you shoot the ball, and um, you don't, you don't shoot off the vibration, but you just like right there, so that's telling me I need to let it go a little bit earlier. You just need to know that the vibration is telling you when to let it go. Some people can shoot straight off of the vibration. I can't do that. I don't know what it is that you have to do in order to shoot, up, shoot straight off of the vibration. The only thing I use the vibration for is to know when when it was should have been green or not like if you feel the vibration let me, let me see like right 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 here like right there i knew that was gonna be late because i felt the vibration before i let it go and then right here like i let it go and then i felt the vibration so the vibration just lets you know it's just like a it's like a a physical cue you know what i'm saying you got the you got the visual cue up there you got the uh you got the sound cue you got the green but you also got a physical cue, man, where you can feel it. You feel it uh, vibrate, and then you know, okay, well, I need to, I need to hold it a little bit longer here. I can't shoot straight off of the vibration. I've met a couple of people that could, but a lot of times, this is how I shoot. It's like I'm waiting for the vibration, almost. So like while I'm looking, I'm like, okay, so like I know that's early, and I know I'm like it hadn't vibrated yet. Okay, now it's you know what I'm saying like I just know to hold it a little bit longer. But a lot of times you're going to get the vibration along with letting it go. And when you get that, that lets you know that you have time to shot property. And 2K just holds you. If you get the vibration and you get a dog on white and you miss, you know, bro. Like we, me and T tell each other all the time, that should have been green. Shit, I, I felt the vibration. You know, I got the vibration. Or I know I timed that right. It should have been green. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Y'all don't wait it long enough, man. This is the jump shot. I, I, I didn't mean to uh, make y'all sit through that. Y'all know normally I put these up close and then I start doing all my talking. But look, this is the jump shot right here. If you know what Kentavious Caldwell Pope shoots, you already know. Jump shot. <laughs> That's, that gave it away right there. Double deuce. I probably spelled deuce wrong. But, uh, because I ain't got spell check on here. But anyway, jump shot 22. Paul George, 70%. Rudy Gay, 30%. Y'all know my other shot I had, Paul George, at 0%. And, um, you know... It just is what it is. But this one, it works better when I put Rudy Gay on at at a um at an actual percentage. So y'all just y'all just be mindful of that. And uh y'all know what it is, man. But this jump shot, I I just I saw Kentavious pull up and I was like, damn, he pulled up pretty quick. That's a fast jump shot. And and it just looks good. And so that's what that's where I'm at. And a lot of people probably been using 22 for the longest and all of that right there. I I, I just I've I've never used it. I haven't, so it is what it is. But man, um, also this is just gold quick draw. I don't have on. I do not have on the other quick draw. I don't have on Hall of Fame. All I got on is gold, and I feel like that uh that, that gold is dope. You know, it is what it is, man. It's good enough for me. And the reason I would put it on Hall of Fame, but the only reason I don't put it on Hall of Fame is because I like catch and shoot. I'll show y'all my shooting badges in a second. I feel like catch and shoot on Hall of Fame, it just normalizes your catches. Like you catch the ball ready to shoot more often than not. And then you can do that little weight right there and then you can get the long one. But if you're already holding it, you know, to me, catch and shoot on Hall of Fame just, just seems better. Now, 
It don't have to be, but for me it is. And like I said, I don't even shoot the ball from the top, man, but trying to shoot it from the top, like I've just, I've just been trying to practice. I gotta get in this gym, man, I, but I, I just don't shoot the ball. I don't shoot it from the top. I need to get out here and shoot it from the top, get the timing down, and do do what I gotta do. But man, I don't know why I don't wanna do it. Like it just don't feel good missing, but it's something that I need to do because I feel like I'll be a lot more versatile. Even though most guards want you to get the hell out of their way up top, I feel like I feel like I'll just be a lot more versatile if I can hit the jump shot consistently from up here. Cause I'm like 90% from in the corner. I ain't gonna lie to you. Boy, my miss is like like this right here. I just I, I got to work on that. Y'all let me know what y'all need to work on as shooters. Like what spots are your weak spots on the floor? Because I just don't shoot from the top. I'm just not, it's like what they say, that what you do most you do best. And I just don't shoot from here. And if I do shoot, I'm gonna shoot from here. I don't hardly shoot from, you know what I'm saying? I don't hardly shoot from, from straight at the top. I shoot from here and then I can, you know, I shoot a lot from here, but that's just because I can see the hand clearly. You see what I'm saying? I can see his hand turn over clearly on those in the other places. I can't really see his hand turn over clearly. So it's 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 rough for me. But y'all let me know what y'all trouble spots are on the floor and how you deal with it. Because I need to know. Like, like as y'all can see from here, with this guy now, with, with my other with my guard, it ain't no problem. With my guard, it's, it's no problem at all. But it just feels like they done nerfed big men so bad, bro. To me, it's just like like Look, don't don't get me wrong. I know you can hit consistently from here, but I'm telling you that I don't have to be as accurate with the timing with my guard as I do with this guy. And I've seen people with guards with 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 67 three ball, and they can hit when it's not green. But us big men, they just hold us. It's like, bro, if it ain't green, if it ain't green, it's probably not going in. Like that's just where they got it at for us. And it, it hey, but you know. We out here hitting hella whites now. Anyway, man, like I said, I hope you guys, I uh, hope this helps somebody out. If it did help you out, leave me a wet, wet down in the comment section. But let me show you all my badges real quick, man, because I know people always want to know that. They always, let me, I'm just going to go through all my badges. I'm testing something out with this fancy footwork, right? Because I want to see if I can jump stop with, with this, with my big guy. And then I got contact finish. I only got four of those. I got shooting badges. These are my shooting badges, the best shooting badges. If you're a big man, Man, you, I could probably take dead eye off to be honest, but those late closeouts, I want to nullify those. You're gonna shoot over those more more often than not. Hall of Fame catch and shoot, just because I found when I put it on that, that's when I really started hitting. And from what I could tell, it just normalizes your catches. That's that's what it does. Corner specialist, I got it up there. I probably could take it down and do this, but this just feels comfortable for me. Like I know people have other setups, and like if it feels comfortable for you. That's good if it feels comfortable for you. But like I said, this 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 is just what felt comfortable for me. Hot zone hunter gives me that extra boost when I shoot from my hot zones. That's all I do is shoot from my hot zones. Range extender, we dropped it down to gold so we can put hot zone hunter up. Haven't missed a beat. Feels really good. And quick draw on goal. I wish I could put it up the Hall of Fame, but I don't want to tamper with anything else. So I'm going to leave it like that. One play making bads, bailout, so you don't throw the ball away. I do this once every probably five or six games. Somebody gets a good close out. I'm like, hey, you got to come back to you. I can't shoot it to you. Stays my behind. I hardly ever throw the ball away. And last but not least, this is where we at on defense, man. Box, purple. Just because I feel like I can't get my, I can't put some ass on somebody if, if I don't got it on purple. I do more boxing out and let my guards rebound when I have a big, big guy down there. But when I so so I gotta be able to pin those guys out. Um, but other than that, you know, you probably don't even need box. You probably can do because your defense. But when, when their offensive rebounds is higher than my defensive rebounding, I need box, man. Sometimes you play comp games and that's just how it is. Hey, rebound chaser, got that on Hall of Fame, intimidator Hall of Fame. Other than that, real protector. I feel like you get very good animations with this, with it just like this. People are not really gonna score on me because of my other badges anyway, but hey. Chase down artists on 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 um on bronze. Clamps on silver. If you put it on bronze, you'll stop somebody, you'll stop a guy that shouldn't be dribbling in three steps. Put it on silver or higher, it hits, it hits hard. So you, you'll stop him in one step. But you have to guide your man to the path. If you put it on gold, then 
it's, it's ridiculous. Like, it'll just suck you right to where they gonna go. So that's how that goes. Pogo stick. If I make a mistake, I wanna be able to jump again. You only need it on silver. And if you don't do all the wild jumps every time anyway, you'll be fine. Moving truck and post the move lockdown. Excuse me, the only reason I got those on is because I would have the big guys. They'll come out there and they would just try to wear me out and just back you down and back you down. There's a shoulder into your chest and it would be a, not a lot that you could do. So I use that to mitigate that and just flat out stop people from being able to back me down, man. And that's all I got for y'all, man. Like I said, those are the best badges for this build. It's likely late. I already knew that, but it should have been green. This would be green. Uh, okay, that's, that's right on time right there. I don't, I don't get it, but hey. Like I said, I need to come out here and practice from up here, man, and just shoot it. But with this jump shot, I promise you, man, you're going to be killing, man. Like I said, if it worked for you, let me know down in the comment section. Uh, those are the shooting tips. The biggest thing that you need to know, too, when shooting is there are at least two releases for every jump shot. So what I'm going to need y'all to do, learn the timing of those two releases, and then learn the cue for when. That was the fast release right there. This will be the slow one right here. See, that's the slow one. Learn the releases, man. Learn the speed on the releases. Learn how, that's the fast one. Um, learn how to identify slow one. Uh, learn how to identify, you know, when you're doing each one, you'll be a much better shooter. And uh, let me show y'all something real quick, just so y'all know, I ain't capping, man, because a lot of people thinking your boy capping, but, you know, just cause I look like a come up out here, man, but that's by design. All right. That's by design. 2K card, boom. Look at this. Park from three, 60.8%, almost 61%. 62.9 from the field, 62, I mean, 81 plus win percentage, man. Hey, look, man, <laughs> that, that's it. And I'm going to holler y'all next time, man, Till next time. Hey, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. God speak. If y'all need anything else, y'all got any questions, let me know. I'll get to all of them, man, and we'll go from there. And I'm out. Peace. About to hit the gym. Hey, hit up, hit up that merch, man. That merch ready. Bye.